April 10th. The indwelling of the Spirit. Ye are not in the flesh, but in the Spirit, if so be that the Spirit of God dwell in you. Now if any man have not the Spirit of Christ, he is none of his. Romans 8 9. It is of the utmost importance to know that we have been born from above of the incorruptible seed of God's implanted nature. How can we be quite sure that we are the sons and daughters of the Lord God Almighty? The beloved Apostle gives us many assurances in the first epistle of St. John. If we are the children of God we shall be content to be unknown of the world, 1 John 3 1. The leaders and rulers of society may view us with contempt as they did our Lord, but we shall refuse to enter into any alliance with the children of the world, and shall lose our taste for the things that used to appeal to us. We shall be very sensitive to the leading of the Holy Spirit, as Philip was when he tore himself away from the revival in Samaria, to go to a lonely spot in the desert, and there await the arrival of the Ethiopian statesman. There was no hesitation in his obedience to the command, Arise, and go toward the south and he arose and went, Acts 8 26 40. Are we being obedient to the call and command of our Lord to tell the good tidings of the gospel to those who have never heard? Or do we make all sorts of excuses for our apathy? We shall certainly love the brethren, 1 John 3 14. We may begin by loving them with our strength, and by sacrificing ourselves on their behalf but we shall pass through the different phases of self-sacrifice until at last we come to love with the Spirit of Christ. We shall be very sensitive for the honor of our Lord, and when men speak ill of Him we shall hasten to avow our discipleship and devotion. We shall be very sensitive about sin. Directly we have offended against the law of love, we shall be restless and unhappy until we have confessed and been forgiven and cleansed. We shall hasten at once to our merciful and faithful High Priest that he may remove the stain. An old Puritan once said that a sow and a sheep might fall into the same miry pit, the one would wallow in it, whilst the other would never rest until it was extricated and cleansed. Prayer O oh God, make me increasingly conscious of the indwelling of Thy Holy Spirit, may He witness with my spirit that in spite of all my sins and shortcomings, I am still Thy child. Amen.